step to Christ, faith and acceptance. But even this parable, tender and touching as it is, comes short of expressing the infinite compassion of the Heavenly Father. The Lord declares by His prophet, I have loved thee with an everlasting love, therefore with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 While the sinner is yet far from the Father's house, wasting his substance in a strange country, the Father's heart is yearning over him, and every longing awakened in the soul to return to God is but the tender pleading of his spirit, wooing, entreating, drawing the wanderer to his Father's heart of love. With the rich promises of the Bible before you, can you give place to doubt? Can you believe that when the poor sinner longs to return, longs to forsake his sins, the Lord sternly withholds him from coming to his feet in repentance? Away with such thoughts. Nothing can hurt your own soul more than to entertain such a conception of our Heavenly Father. He hates sin, but he loves the sinner, and he gives himself in the person of Christ that all who would might be saved and have eternal blessedness in the kingdom of glory. What stronger or more tender language could have been employed than he has chosen in which to express his love to others? He declares, Can a woman forget her sucking child? that she should not have compassion on the son of a womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Isaiah 49 verse 15 Look up, you that are doubting and trembling, for Jesus lives to make intercession for you. Thank God for the gift of his dear son, and pray that he may not have died for you in vain. The Spirit invites you today. Come with your whole heart to Jesus, and you may claim His blessing. As you read the promises, remember they are the expression of unutterable love and pity. The great heart of infinite love is drawn toward the sinner with boundless compassion. We have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sin. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 Yes, only believe that God is your helper. He wants to restore his moral image in men. As you draw near to him with confession and repentance, he will draw near to you with mercy and forgiveness. Step to Christ, pages 54 and 55.